Well, Jackson, a special occasion for you on Friday. You'll make your NRL debut and become Bulldog player number 814. Mate, how does that feel? It's, it's, it makes you speechless at the same time as the excitement builds in you as the week goes on. And having captain's run today and getting a captain's run jersey alone was unreal. And then being presented my jersey in front of my mum and dad was one of the best moments, if not the best moment of my life so far. And I didn't think I would, but I did get emotional and I did shed a tear. And it was, it was, a, it was a moment I'll never forget. Do you pinch yourself, mate, to realise how quick your journey has gone and you know how quick it has come around yeah 100 percent like if you told me at the start of the year i was debuting round four i would have laughed at you and said but i won't be debuting for another two years like it, it just it's come up so quickly and i'm so grateful for for baz putting his trust in me and and knowing i can do the job and hopefully i can really rip in for the boys this tomorrow you put in the hours you put in the work it's People just see the games, they don't see the behind the scenes. Like this job is 24 seven and it's constant. You're eating, you're sleeping, your you're pre preparation for games and trainings. It's, it's something that is done behind the scenes and is not acknowledged. And for that to come to fruition and for me to have this opportunity now, it's, it's the same amount of excitement as, is, as it is relief to know that all that work and preparation isn't for nothing. And how did Trent break the news to you? And I suppose, mate, what was your reaction? <laughs> it was kind of, a, it was a really weird week. Like um, he told me on Monday, uh, I'd be in the 23 squad and um, just just normal week, prepare like you're playing, but just prepare like it's, it's on a Friday. I was like, yeah, sounds good. Um, awesome. And then Tuesday came and then I got named 14 and I was like, I was like, oh, whoa, like this could be like, this could be my debut. And then um, I think, uh, I still wasn't sure because he didn't confirm it with me yet. And then yesterday uh, we had a meeting and um, I was about to walk out and he grabbed me, pulled me aside really quickly and says, this is the week I'm, I'm going to play this week. And I, oh, I just wanted to, uh, there's like every emotion just rushed through my body. I was excited. I was going to cry and I was holding back tears. And it was, it was that, it was that feeling you, you get only a couple of times in your life. And it was unreal family were here today to see the jersey presentation what was the phone call to them like oh it was funny because <laughs> it was funny again because um same thing with tuesday me being named in the squad mum and dad didn't really want to get excited yet but um i told them just before i left the training i'd let them know if i got called in and so i fa facetimed mum pretty much right after i found out and and she was over the moon mum and dad had a tear and they were awesome and then the whole family came home that afternoon and i let them know and it was just an awesome, awesome environment because I couldn't, I couldn't be where I am today if it wasn't for them. Like my family have been my backbone, they've been the driving force in my preparation to anything that my, we do. As children, my mum and dad have supported us 100%, so I'm so grateful for them, it's unbelievable. You've come through the system here at the club, you know, playing Harold Matthews, SG Ball, Jersey Flag, you know, Canterbury Cup, New South Wales Cup. Does it make it that little bit more special being given your first first grade game here at this club? 100%. Like, I, I say continuously, I'd go out there and die for the Bulldogs. Like, putting the emblem on your chest is something that's so special for any player. And for, for me to be able to do that and run out behind the boys is, is something that I'm, I'm most proud of. And especially being a junior of the club and coming through the grades every step, it's... It's something that you can't you can't explain. It's a feeling in, inside you that you just love that club, the club so much, and that's what I feel for Bulldogs. I do, as you say, bleed blue and white. So it's an awesome feeling. Yeah, today, Captain Drun Jacko, I saw you, you know, share you know, some time with the captain, Josh Jackson, who no doubt yourself have idolised. Has he had any words of advice for you this week? Yeah, he um, he um, pulled me aside after after the main session finished, just for a little bit of extras just to help me out and um, as we went through that after he pulled me aside and just gave me a couple of words, he just said play your game and, and don't let it overwhelm you, uh, just go out there, it's another game, get your carries early, get your tackles early and just fall into what you do, you do best and really go hard for the boys pretty much. So, But just having that having that moment with Jacko was awesome, you know, Jacko's 200 plus first grader and I've idolised him ever since I've been at the club. He's 
the epitome of what the Bulldogs stand for. And sadly, I won't be running up uh, behind him, but he'll definitely be there on the day, and I can't wait to, you know, perform for the boys. Jacko, how do you think you'll be game day when you wake up? <laughs> uh, I think I'll be I'll be very nervous and very excited at the same time. Um, but I've uh, got to control both of them and, and really hone into what I need to do for the boys. And as soon as I get to the field, just go through my own game day prep as it will be. I don't, I don't really have any superstitions, but I'll just, I'll just go out there and, and do my thing and have fun and have a little bit of a dance probably and <laughs> listen to some music, but nothing too, nothing too crazy.